if you're going to use Notepad++ to build web pages or websites, you really need to have Google Chrome or Firefox configured with it, or even Edge, so you can view your work and use the inspector tools that are built into the browsers to troubleshoot your work. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to do this for Google Chrome. Do it the exact same way for Firefox, except you would find the Firefox folder or Edge, you'd find the Edge folder to do that. So it's what we want to do, first thing we want to do is we want to create a page HTML to do this test. So I'm just going to make real simple paragraph tag and write test and close that paragraph tag. And we'll save this as an HTM or HTML file. So save as. And put it wherever, whatever, wherever you can remember it. And we're going to come down and we're going to find hypertext markup. And we're going to save. Now, we want to add a browser so we can view what we're doing. So we're going to click the run button. And then we're going to click run again. And let me get back that out and we're going to go to our PC programs if uh, program file if you're oh, excuse me uh, programs file if you are a 64-bit if you if your computer is Windows 64-bit or your computer 64-bit and uh, x86 if your computer is uh, not 64-bit so minus 64 so I'm going there and I'm gonna go find the Google folder and Chrome and applications and you'll notice Chrome EXE I will select that and you'll notice it puts the path right in here for you now in order to be able to run Chrome to check your page you'll need to add something to the end and I want to I will go ahead and put this here so you can copy it put this on the end of that path uh, at the end of your path here create a space and then put the put that on the end and now you can uh, run and it's going to should show this page in Chrome and there it is it shows the test it only shows the HTML right uh, so it's working as it should now If you forgot to create a shortcut for it, which I already have, it's Control Shift C, but I'm going to show you something real quick. Let me go ahead and remove that. I delete it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to run this again. It should still be there. And uh, actually, we're going to save. We'll click Save, and I'm going to create a Chrome shortcut so I'll call it Chrome and control now notice that I'm going to show you something to look for an error uh, so you'll know you're not doing it wrong so if you were to do control C which would be copyright so let's go uh, where's where's the letters at there they are so if you were to go control C you see down here it says conflict found so you can't do that you can't do control C for Chrome but you can do control plus shift C and that's what I'm going to do so so I'm going to go ahead and close this out and uh, control shift C and there it is it popped up so you have your shortcut you also have it here if you want to run it here you'll find it up there as well it does the same thing so there you have a browser uh, that will check your work in notepad as you're doing it and that's really all there is to set up a browser to work with notepad. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like, a, a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. You have a good day.